Good morning, Shabbat Shalom. Welcome back to my home. In today's video, we are getting ready for Shabbat. We are prepping, planning, getting ready, doing it all. So I am glad you're here because it's a big day. Something huge has happened in this household. Should we tell them? Well, when I got a haircut, I don't know if you can tell at all. Um, but that's not the big news. The big news is we are back at Costco. We're back. We rejoined Costco and I have a huge kosher grocery haul that is being delivered within the hour. So I'm excited to show you guys that. If, you re if you've been here a while, you probably remember when I said this in a past video. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have my last ever Costco haul for you guys. That's right, we quit Costco today. I'll tell you all about it at the end of this video, but first I just wanna jump into the haul. But times change, we now have three little boys. This one is not eating solids just yet, but any day now, huh? Oh, yeah, it's on my to-do list. So we are just a bigger family than we were a few years ago, and we eat like more of the same foods, if that makes sense. Like my boys like the same things. They're consistent eaters, so it just makes sense to kind of bulk buy at Costco. Can we talk about grocery prices? for a minute oh my goodness oh my goodness okay so that's what's going on here I'm gonna show you guys the Costco haul as soon as it gets dropped off and then it's time for Shabbat and Shabbat prep right yeah and I actually have some more new beautiful Judaica that I have not used here in a vlog but I might have shown I can't even remember but I'm really excited to use it for the first time for Shabbat okay Okay, the baby's napping. The dogs are going nuts because <laughs> the Costco delivery order just came and the Instacart person rang the bell. I need to just put up a sign that's like, don't ring the bell because it, it it's like makes them, flips, flips them into like a frenzy. Anyways, <laughs> those are all the groceries I'll show you right now. Those are the Costco boxes, you know, that they always come. It's so crazy to be back at Costco after all this time. Um, the total for this order, which is a lot of food, was about $400, and that included the delivery, or the delivery was free, but I still need to tip. I'm not exactly sure, but around the $400 mark. I also bought roses. So they had, or the, on the line, it showed these like gorgeous orange roses that I really wanted to go with our Shabbat dinner this week. They delivered long, <laughs> long stem red roses, which was not the vibe I was going for, but they are gorgeous. These roses, I think it's like two dozen, two dozen long stem red roses was $22. So you can factor that into the budget. All right, let me show you what we got. So here is the overview and I'll just quickly walk you through. I know what you're thinking, like Passover is coming. Why did I stock up? But honestly, a lot of this will probably be gone by Passover and any that isn't will just store. Um, paper towels, these are actually, or not paper towels, sorry, napkins, these are actually, for shader was my first thought, um, but we don't have it anyways. That's really the only paper, guys. I think everything else is food. Um, some of this, by the way, my friends recommended to me. We had the little like Costco chain, so most of the stuff you see here comes highly recommended by my friends in my group chat. Okay, organic cauliflower stir fry. Thought that looked interesting. Um, kosher hot dogs. Um, this granola, I've never had it before, but it looks delicious. Also on the new for me front is this mush. It's like overnight oats. That was only $5. I was really interested in that. Um, these are the mini guacamoles. We got these last time actually, but i um, very excited about those. They are super easy for like lunches and stuff. This is a new one. Strawberry yogurt covered pretzels. I hope the boys will like. Dried apples. Some raisin bread veggie spring rolls for the freezer a ton of eggos for the freezer mostly my kids eat waffles for breakfast so hopefully that'll go a long way um more breakfast stuff oatmeal squares these bars my kids really like these i've never tried before but they just looked good it's like a fruit you know snack um the costco <laughs> brand uh apple sauce squeezy pouches fruit snacks these are like lunch stuff for the kids um a ton of pediasure um this fresh fruit bowl i think this was about ten dollars i thought this would be a nice treat these muffins we've had before really good really easy because they're like mini muffins ritz crackers graham crackers oreo cookies a ton of popcorn 
pirate's booty. And my oh. last thing, oh, second to last, is tuna. Look at all this tuna. This was actually on sale. And um, my friend recommended this, these Yaki Silva packets for lunches. So that is the Costco haul. How do you guys think I did? I know you're always like, Miriam, you spent too much. You didn't get enough. But grocery prices are high. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Okay, baby's waking up from the nap. I got to get these groceries away. I think that's all I'm going to be able to do today. And then tomorrow we will actually get that prep for Shabbat done. Good morning, Shabbat Shalom. So much has happened in 24 hours because I forgot that we are getting our windows replaced this weekend. So <laughs> the house is just like insanity because apparently you need to take off every like window covering and move all the stuff that's near the windows so that the guys can get to the windows. This probably makes sense to most people, but I was like, oh, what? <laughs> so um, my husband has been taking off all the window coverings which is great but he's like um the house kind of needs to be clean like <laughs> all these people are gonna be walking there and i was like yeah yeah of course i'm cleaning for shabbat anyways but um we need to like get on it um so he's gonna help of course um and i'm gonna get shabbat ready but i'm also gonna be doing some cleaning which i'm gonna try and film if it's not too crazy because i gotta get this place into shape so the table i actually have a little bit together because I had to make a reel, a Passover reel. I know you guys are like, Passover, what? Um, to showcase to, I'll, show you, I'll just show it to you guys. This gorgeous artist, Yali Vogel, I've shared her stuff before, I sent this um, beautiful matzah cover. This is the one with like three parts for the matzah to go in. I know you're like, Mary, didn't you just say you had all this stuff to do? <laughs> and these gorgeous Haggadahs. Actually, I actually have one from last year um, with all her paintings in them. Anyway, so I did a little reel for that. So the table is a little bit set. So we have a starting place. The roses from Costco. They're so pretty. Look at these. I wanted orange, though. I think I mentioned that yesterday. Anyways, um, so the plan <laughs> is to get the table number one shabbat table done and then we'll clean and if i have time i really want to clean my car <laughs> for shabbat too i love going into shabbat with a clean car just me speaking of passover though passover cleaning that is on a whole nother level and needs to be done maybe i'll do that i mean obviously before passover but like sometime next two weeks so i'll make a video let me know do you guys want to see passover cleaning let me know okay i gotta get moving mentioned I had some new Judaica items to show you guys that I'm using this week and I apologize if I have shown these before I can't remember if I showed them on Instagram or here but they're by the brand Chai Modern where's their little tag which actually comes from South Africa and you guys know me our family is South African Jewish so this is very special check out this ombre challah cover they have this really cool like modern Judaica good morning Zaku um, this is the hollow board. This is the hollow board. It's a little hard to show you guys one-handed, but <laughs> it's this like lucite glass. Do you see that? Actually, that looks really cool on the camera. And then it's got a ceramic piece inside that says Shabbat Shalom. So they have all these like modern takes on Judaica. Super high-end and just like gorgeous. So I'll show you guys what it looks like all put together, but definitely check them out. If I have any like codes or links or anything, I'll put them in the description below. Okay, starting off with my favorite Shabbat prep thing to do, and that is the flowers. I actually think I was kind of uninspired this week because all I did was trim my red roses and put them on the vase. I'm sorry to say, I did nothing too crazy. Also, the roses were so long. When Costco says long stem, they mean long stem. And the thorns were there. <laughs> and I lost my gardening shears that I just found like a week ago. Lost and found, that is my life. But the flowers are so gorgeous. I think they still looked really good on the table. Okay, the table is simple but beautiful, I think, and ready to go. So let me show you that before like all the window treatments come down and who knows what happens in this house. <laughs> 
the gorgeous flowers from Costco. They're almost like, there's like a little too romantic for the vibe, but that's fine. <laughs> um, my, my usual uh, candlesticks from my grandmother. This is actually Zachary's Kiddush Cup. See the Z? ZH. And then the gorgeous challah cover and challah board with the gorgeous challah. So that is tonight's setup ready to go. Now back to the Shabbat cleaning and I think I'm going to order takeaway. I'm gonna do it. I just have too much to do <laughs> in terms of cleaning the house and I still want the meal to be special like because otherwise it's gonna end up being chicken nuggets like which is fine <laughs> but I think um, I think I'm just gonna order takeout for tonight and not cook so I can focus on the cleaning that has to be done for these window guys um, but I'll show you everything comes together and a little bit more Shabbos cleaning so we're ready to go. Okay, so I included that clip of my husband doing dishes because I want to keep it real with you all that I definitely do not do all the work in the house. My husband does a lot. <laughs> so I just put in that little clip to show you. He does help too, a ton. Um, but really, he did a lot and I was just doing those last little bits. You know that stuff that doesn't fit in the dishwasher? That stuff is the worst. And I don't know why, but we always have so much of it. The knives that can't go in the dishwasher, the kids' plates, the sippy cups, the crystal glasses. <laughs> so I feel like the bulk of my dishwashing is those just little things that are always cluttering up the kitchen. But thankfully, got it done so that I have a clean kitchen for Shabbos, which is for me the ultimate goal. It is Friday afternoon. The kitchen is clean. Look at this. Look at that. Um, there's a bunch of dishes that need to be put away, but at least they're washed. And I still have to unstack the dishwasher, but at least it's clean the dishes. The counter's clean. Just got some fruit out. Dishes. But we are done. Pretty much with this area of the house. <laughs> um, and the dining table is all set and ready to go for dinner tonight. I'm ordering in, I can't cook tonight, just have way too much cleaning and stuff to do. And that's it. I'm gonna wish you guys a Shabbat Shalom. I thank you for being here to watch with me, clean with me, get my life together with me. Um, I'll see you guys in my next video. Let me know, please, if you made it to the end of this video, <laughs> let me know what you want to see for Passover. Because it's only like three weeks away. I have some ideas in mind for sure. But if there's things that you guys want to know, let me know. That's all. I'm going to love you and leave you, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! And guys, I had to sneak in this last clip of my roses on Sunday with our new windows. Not that you can tell, but the kitchen is clean. The roses are still looking gorgeous. I actually cut them down more, and I love how they look. And yeah, that was the weekend. Shabbat Shalom!